care about karma at all. And it's just weird, because karma works so well with Ezreal, because he, she augments his ability to clear waves. But not the electron there's heavy onus on Clid to actually make things happen for this rise in this Maokai and get the Lee Sin going. Um, we'll follow their initial pathing, but... Not up, that's flash use, Clid. Gets the flash kick on the 957. He's looking for the execution damage, and they're trying to burn through his health. 957 goes down, and Kabe gets first blood. Seven has his teleport. This is the one play that they can make, 957. 957 again, shadow dashes, but this time, there isn't too much to try to keep him safe. Kabe again with a kill. And that's just kind of inexcusable at this point. You don't have, because he knows that Lee Sin at least doesn't have his ultimate, so you're not dealing with that burst damage. But Doinby is now on the way up, yeah, so he's teleporting. Yeah, Realm Warp and 957 is caught out once again. It's Doinby who cleans it up. He's single-handedly the MVP for QG right now. Actually, their recent back timers have kind of been a little bit uh, not as efficient as they could be. Mm -hmm. They could have contested things like this blue buff. But now that they've got their backs down and they feel that they've spent their gold, maybe Ooh, they make the, the play. The catches Ollie, and there's the package. That support trundle didn't stand a chance. Didn't even get to subjugate. And this is kind of... 957 again. Flash, snare, shadow dash catches too, and he flashes on his own. But Doinby is able to get some damage. And 957, that poor man goes down again. And this is exactly what QG needed to do. No longer just letting Team WE bounce waves and farm it out, force the dive. I like the fact that they uh, gank the teleporting member of the team, because obviously if you kill him... It is 1v2, and no, never mind, that's a 2v2. There's a Shen in there as Clit hops over the wall. 957 looks for the Shadow Dash. Clit is now caught and has been burned down. WE collapse and secure the kill, and again, is burning down the Baron. Jusha Barrage spots it, but it's already down to half. Realm Warp is being used as Doinby tries to get into the back of the pit. He's going to be caught immediately, oh, no. and immediately Clint goes in, but is not able to do enough. Doinby follows over the far side, and Shie start a fight here on this Ocean Drake. Hanji goes in, Clint's in the pit. That's going to be the stand United as he tries to get in there. Mystic in the back is followed up by Kit. Gets kicked in, and Mystic goes down, exhaust on the Shie. Denies the damage source for WE, but he gets huge AOE, and Kandi is destroyed. The mob squad of Zhao Gu chase down the members of WE, and one by one, they fall. The dragon is now there. The dragons are the monster objectives because the, the tower, so many towers have fallen. is kind of like oh. a gentleman's agreement, but Whoa. these guys just want to kill each other. Yeah, Clid actually goes way too hard for the blue buff. Yes, you got it, but at what cost? It's Mystic who now has the cooldown reduction. This is so strange positioning here. Ali not caught. Yeah, flashes over the wall. Snare still catches him with the deadly flourish. Curtain call is almost certainly going to mean the end of Ali here as he drops down. And WE are again prepped on the Baron. Kave teleports in with a fresh home guard. Flash from Penn. He's like, get me out of here. Kandi follows up as well. That's Clint as they try to burn through the health. And it's a quick two kills. Shie and Ben goes down. Kandi gets kicked and chased by Kabe as the very sticky composition from Chao Gu pick up three kills. And all of that vision preparation setup pays off because Kabe got his pick of the litter about whatever word he wanted to teleport to with the home guards. And now that they've made massive picks on the wave clear, they're going to go ahead and try to break one of the in inhibs. Yeah, they're rushing right on down. Do not have the reduced damage from minions. There they go. Now they're finally able to break down the inhibitor turret and the inhib itself follows. It's 25 seconds for Shie. They continue to move forward. Mystic and 957 are going to try to defend this as Nexus turret number one is being burned through. Doinby gets huge damage onto Mystic, who's forced to sit on the fountain. 957 gets a good taunt onto Clint, but Kabe is so tanky. He's taking the turret. Ben is back up, but the Nexus is being burned down, and Chao Gu are going to bring us to game number three for the second time this week. And Team WB could only hide for so long, but finally QG are decisive, particularly on the back of Kabe, pulling the trigger and forcing